Hello everyone, this is part 2 of a series of workouts designed for competitive swimmers such as myself. This workout is intended to be used throughout the off-season to build muscular strength, endurance, and power, as well as future injury prevention. This will ultimately reduce your personal best times. This video will go over the pull day in the push-pull legs training split. We will be targeting the back and biceps. General warm-up. The goal of increasing body temperature and to get blood flowing. A heart rate of 55-65% to 65 of max heart rate is recommended. For younger athletes, this means 100 to 120 beats per minute. 5 to 10 minutes on an elliptical, inclined treadmill, or stairmaster is recommended. We will then follow up with the specific warm up. The goal of the specific warm up is to loosen up the muscles and take the joints to the full range of motion. This can include a dynamic stretching routine, which is known to improve performance. For the upper body, we will begin with 30 seconds of small arm circles and 30 seconds of large arm circles and then one minute of vertical and horizontal external rotations repeat the dynamic warm-up two more times the first exercise is the pull-up studies have found the pull-up to be the most effective exercise for developing the lat or the middle back muscles the lats are the most important upper body muscle for having a powerful and fast stroke as they are responsible for the majority of the pull phase in all four strokes. To perform a pull up, grab a pull up bar with your hands spread apart about 1.5 times your shoulder width. Brace the core and roll your shoulder blades down to help engage the lats. Pull yourself up by bringing your elbows into your lats. Your chin should fully clear the bar. Lower yourself slowly and repeat. If it is difficult to perform more than one pull-up, you can tie a resistance band to the bar to decrease difficulty. Aim for two warm-up sets of 1-2 to two reps and three working sets of 4-5 to five reps. Exercise 2, Barbell Rows. This exercise will be the main horizontal rowing movement of the workout. The plane of motion is in line with the fiber orientation of the mid-traps. This will maximize recruitment of the mid-trap and rhomboids. Grab a barbell a bit wider than shoulder width. Bend down by pushing your hips back as far as you can. Avoid rounding your back by bracing your core. Your chest should be as close to parallel to the floor as possible. Pull the bar up to your upper abs. You should feel your shoulder blades squeezing together as you perform the movement. Perform 4 sets of 10 reps. Exercise 3. Cable lat pullover. This is a lat isolation exercise that mimics the movement patterns of a freestyle or butterfly pull. Attach a wide bar to a cable machine at its highest point. Take a few steps back so that your arms are fully extended and your upper body leans forward at an angle. Ensure that your back does not round by bracing your core. Pull the bar down to your hips, keeping your arms straight. Make sure you focus on utilizing your lat muscles and not your arm muscles. Perform 4 sets of 12 reps. Exercise 4. Easy Bar Curl The Easy Bar Curl is a variation of a traditional barbell curl that places less stress on your wrists. The barbell curl is the most basic and essential exercise for isolating the biceps. Grab, grab an easy bar with your wrist pointed inwards and curl the weight up, squeezing your biceps at the top. Make sure to keep your upper arm still and pull with the bending of your elbows. Then lower the weight down slowly. Perform 3 sets of 10 to 12 reps. You should be resting between 1 minute and 30 seconds and 2 minute and 30 seconds between each set. That's the end of the workout. Watch part 3 of the series to learn what a leg day workout should look like. Thank you!